Jerry Juice time is seven sixteen. Joining me right now, two heavyweights: Paul Bettencourt, former tax assessor here, and uh, also uh, Harris County Clerk Stan Standard. Paul, Stan, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Good morning. Glad to have you. It was good to have you both. <laughs> hey, Paul, let me start with you. Were you in San Antonio, or are you there now, watching this whole thing? Uh, I've been basically on the phone about 24-7 on this stuff, Matt. Stan was actually in San Antonio, and you're going to hear two things this morning on KTRH that you haven't heard anywhere or seen it in print. One, Stan can tell you when he thinks the primary is going to be, and two, I'm going to tell you what the fight still is about, which is locally. Locally, we've got a big fight that is holding up the whole redistricting uh, compromise over State Representative 144, that's Pasadena, and the local Republicans are pressing hard to keep that seat. Uh, the Democrats obviously want that seat, and that is the one seat that is still at, up for grabs in San Antonio that's keeping the entire redistricting uh, uh, plan to be approved. And let's let Stan tell you about what he testified yesterday on in the court. All right, Stan, it's great. I just put Paul on. I don't even have to talk. That's uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I just listen. All right, Stan. Uh, I, everybody wants to know when is the primary are we going to be late May? Unfortunately, I'm afraid that's the direction they're going towards. Uh, I testified that in Harris County, uh, we could pull off April the 24th. Yeah. Uh, because we think the citizens need a voice in the presidential election. That we think they need to have their primary now. Uh, the, what I saw, and even behind the scenes where I was with other elections uh, administrators, that the Democrats are trying to drag this out. Uh, they had uh, one of their uh, ex and Richard operatives was actually in the meeting there uh, that uh, was actually doing things to, to to encourage you know the other elections officials to say well you know make sure you're taking getting things right make sure that you know uh, the filing deadline needs to be five days and then when I was I was proposing let's do let's compress this thing let's do what's possible uh, but no they want to. Uh, they want to drag it out so that, that we don't mm. get to actually addressing the Democrats when it comes to the, the actual what matters. Wow. All right. Paul Bettencourt uh, joining us along with Stan Standard. Paul Bettencourt, uh, Stan Standard joining me here this morning. Paul has already dropped a bombshell. Let me just, let me just back up a, a little bit, uh, Paul. You are saying that really what's holding this up in San Antonio are the Democrats who are trying to get the Pasadena district. Do I understand you right? Matt, you got it nailed. Basically, the entire fight in Texas is now down to one state representative seat. And it's really important because if the Democrats pick that seat up, then they'll have the majority of the Harris County delegation. And because of the Voting Rights Act, effectively, Republicans will be push, pushed into enclaves over the next 10 years. So that means Harris County never be able to have even a tied state rep delegation between Democrats and Republicans will be Democrat majority wow. opportunity. All right, and, and Stan, you just said that you believe uh, end of May, uh, you've uh, been in San Antonio, you've seen some shenanigans uh, from the Democrats. Those are your words. Well, you didn't say shenanigans, only I use that word. Uh, but you say <laughs> you've seen some wheeling and dealing. What does that mean then, uh, Stan? If we get pushed back to the end of May, Texas then doesn't really become a significant player, does it? Uh, it's very likely that we're not, uh, but who knows? We're still lots to be determined. The election is still very actively involved. And Matt, let me pick up a point here. The one guy that loses big time for sure is Newt Gingrich because Newt had made it real clear that he's going to Super Tuesday right. in March and then he was going to come to Texas. Well, Texas ain't going to be there. And quite frankly, neither will his presidential campaign by May 29th. All right, real quick, Stan, is there any possibility of a split primary where we have a primary early uh, for local races and then the other primary for the presidential race? Uh, I see no support for that. Nobody wants to do that. Then you you just interject a whole other set of problems if we have to run three elections now, uh, two primaries and then the runoff. It's just... You know, your military ballots need three right. five days. Uh, it's just impossible. You're going to have to. I'll, I'll let either one of you jump in. When will we know for sure? When are we going to be able to definitively say, either Paul or Stan, you can uh, you know answer this question to our audience, when we will be voting? I'll, Paul, I'll start with you. Do you have any idea? Well, 
I tell you what, we're not going to be voting on it, on in the primary. We're not going to be voting in April at this point. Stan was the only election administrator to stand up and say he could get it done by April the 24th. Everyone else said May. My guess is a, a, a 90% plus that we're going to be voting on May the 29th now, All probably right. somewhere right after American Samoa in the Republican primary. All right, gentlemen, i got to run, but thank you so much for your time. Paul Betancourt, Stan Sander, joining us here this morning. Some new information, and you'll only hear it here.